So right off the bat, I mean, I loved how uh, Kelly and Alex sort of smoothly developed last season. So what can we expect for the moving forward? Are they going to hit any bumps, or is it going to be smooth sailing? Well, I think, you know, it's inevitable for anybody to hit bumps in a relationship. It's very new, so they're still trying to figure out and get to know one another and kind of, you know, it, they both live in such a crazy world. <laughs> That's just the dynamic of sort of what they do, and I think it's just a matter of figuring out how those two pieces fit together and learn a lot along the way. <laughs> yeah. You're good at this. Yeah, I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, that was a good answer. Don't leave me I'll ruin anything. everything. No. By saying spoilers. Can we start to see more team-ups as far as, like, the action side of things as opposed to just the relationship side of things? As of, like, for the, for the first part of the season, I think it's more a bit more about the relationship and then kind of, like, towards the latter half. Because so much happens with the a little, crossover. A little bit in the, what we're in the beginning. Before all that. <laughs> we have seen. <laughs> see, this see, this no, is why I'm not allowed to talk. No, 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 but that's okay. Because I'm like, I'm going to tell you everything. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, there is a little in the beginning that's... I mean, I didn't do anything action-wise, so you're like a pro, but I do a little note. I'm like, ooh, ooh. You do? You yeah. did the other yes? Yeah, remember I threw myself on the ground and it wasn't necessary? <laughs> they were it like, was don't necessary. do that. I'm like, sorry, I got so excited. <laughs> it's yes. hard not to, yeah. But yeah, I think towards the line, when, once the whole crossover happens, and I still don't know everything that happens, I'm still trying to like hunt for answers because it's the whole, what can we, what can we not say? And then it's like, how does this affect me? <laughs> and so it affects everybody, everybody in every way, and all hell breaks loose, and it kind of just changes the, dynam the dynamic for everybody, and yeah. then kind of get to see some cool stuff afterwards happen to us. Yeah. How are you feeling about uh, Jeremy? It makes my heart so happy. I always, I mean, it. Everybody's been my favorite scene partner, so it's so it's so great. We're so lucky because we have such phenomenal actors and actresses on the show. Yeah. But with Jeremy just being there from the beginning, he's like my he's like my buddy. He's like my little brother, and I've always loved that dynamic. And so we've missed him terribly since he's been gone. So to know that he's going to come back for a bit and the capacity in which he's coming back and that dynamic storyline, I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to hear him sing on set. <laughs> it is nonstop. Everybody sings. Yeah. Everybody dances. Well, Melissa dances. Yeah. She's the dancer, thank God. Tap dances, does chorus line. She's amazing, yeah. Yeah. thing to come into. I think you get, I mean, the cast is so supportive, and Kyler was checked in with me right when I got it, and was so there for me. David was so there for me the first minute I got there. I mean, like, I had so much support, and I was so prepped into kind of what I was coming into that it was, it was pretty amazing. And to play a woman who's so kind and smart and nurturing is, um, is humbling, and I feel like I learned a lot from that. There's so many times where, like, James and Kelly have arguing scenes and Makata is like Ozzy would never let me talk to her like that and be so calm and I'm like I have a lot to learn from Kelly she's like she's aspirational so yeah I think in front of the camera it's been really amazing and then behind the camera having like cast support and coming into this whole world has been lucky Speaking of James and Kelly how much Olsen sibling action we get before his departure? Um I mean we have we it's it's we're together you know I think that Kelly is a big advisor to James and I you know I'm a little sister but I still think that she is the wiser of the two in terms of like planning him and so you see her help him kind of figure out his life this season and where he's going to go and she really guides him in a, in a tough but loving way and it's beautiful to see. I feel like she does that with, with Alex too. She does that with pretty much yeah. everybody. She keeps she's she's grounding the force. They were like we need a therapist on this show because everyone's a hot mess. Because we're all yeah. messed up. <laughs> so I feel like it's so true. She's like it's okay. It's, it's okay. So it's true. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alex kind of had a bit of a turning point this season where she realized it's never going to be a perfect time to be a mother. So are you looking forward to potentially, you know, strapping the baby on and getting into oh, some Lord, I was so <laughs> adamant about not doing the baby Bjorn thing <laughs> because I was like, okay, A, it'd have to be like a helmet and then you'd have to have like a bulletproof baby Bjorn. <laughs> 
And that wouldn't leave a lot of access to, to you know, breathe for the child, so I was a bit concerned about that. Um, we're coming up with something that is really cool, because a big part of it was obviously with Maggie's departure, you know, really wanting to address that, but not shove it down people's throats, that this is, you know, now Alex is like dead set on doing this because we have to fit it in really quickly to make everything else make sense. Because I felt like that just didn't do justice, you know, yeah. to, to Alex and her journey. And so what we end up seeing is that Alex still wants kids and it is something that is on Kelly's radar as well. So it's not about if and that, it's just about when and how to make that look realistic within a very unrealistic world. Yeah. Because it was always a matter of like, we're always going to be in danger. There's always going to be some sort of, you know, trial that's going to be, we're going to be tested with. So how do we do this responsibly yeah. and not, you know, put a baby in a Bjorn and try to like backflip and, you know, mm -hmm. kick the Like social but services would take I think that, I don't away. think it would last very long. It wouldn't work. But, Sorry. but it is great. responsibly, I have to pull you Oh, nice. Because we, we're, we're going to end up going. Otherwise, we got, we got to be responsible. We need all the press. Very true. <laughs> so, thank okay. you so much. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.